Hey everybody, it's Friday. Thank God. Um, I'm already like so stressed out and the weekend hadn't officially begun for me yet. Oh God. This is one of those weekends where I just wish I could just fast forward to Monday and just not remember anything that happened. And the reason I say that is that my list of things that need to be done before our niece and nephew get here uh, just keep getting bigger. So now when I go home, I'm going to have to take the battery off my wife's car because her it's not cranking her car over. And back when we had all those parts replaced on her car, I kind of thought that the battery was going south then just because there was a lot of corrosion the posts. I mean a lot. Um, nearly like the battery was leaking or had a leak and had stopped, but there was a ton of corrosion, a lot more than I'd ever seen, and of course I cleaned it off, but uh, I'm going to take it off, take it up to one of the auto parts places in town and have to put it on their little machine and see if it's got some dead cells, and if it does, I'll just buy her another battery and we'll go from there. So, have to do that tonight. Um, I have to change the oil in the Prius because it's due. I normally pay to go do it, but I wanted to switch to um, a different type of oil. I wanted to use a full synthetic, and what I, I put Mobile One in my wife's car, and that's what we use. And so that's probably what I'm going to put in here. And I've never changed the oil in the Prius, so I'm not really sure what to expect. So I'm sure that's going to happen on Sunday at some point in time. And then also we still have to uh, rearrange some furniture in the sunroom. And I have to build the uh, bunk beds. But before I can even start on any of that, uh, well, well, we actually have to move some stuff around. and it's not safe to really to be in so everybody's going to take a shower tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to get a Sawzall you don't know what it is it's basically what they call a reciprocating saw it's just got a big old blade on it about that long and it just comes in and out of the in and out of the saw but the company that basically made them famous is Sawzall so it's what we refer to as a Sawzall so I have to get a fiberglass blade and the tub we have now is fiberglass and it's going to be in pieces. It's the easiest way to get it out. It's an all-in-one so the surround and everything was all bolted together. I don't think we're going with that again. I think what we're doing is buying a tub and then getting a surround and I'd a lot rather get a cast iron tub that we never have to replace again but it depends on the price and everything but we're going to get this surround that interlocks and you don't have to you're not supposed to have to caulk it but we're going to anyway but it's not supposed to like get mold and mildew and all that in there so and my wife has mold allergies so we have to be careful with that stuff so that's the big project if I didn't have that project to do I would be like oh well, this is an easy weekend battery oil change move some stuff around set up bunk beds easy and throwing that tub into it is the monster so and if there was any way I could delay it oh trust me we would be delaying it but it's got to get done you know when you have guests and stuff you know you gotta be able to provide them with a way to take a shower so the plan at least is to get it taken out uh, I hope to God it's really easy and there's not a lot of damage on the floor and I can just suss all that floor out if I needed to or use my uh, circular saw and cut the floor any part, bad part of the floor and replace it and I don't know if we're going to try to replace the faucet and all that too no, we're probably going to leave 
the shower head because we like the shower head. The rest of it I may end up replacing since I got to take it all apart anyway. And that's really putting it in and hooking everything up is the part that uh, it's a breeze. I do it my so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Even the construction work is not that big of a deal. The part I don't want to do is drilling holes in the, uh, the tub surround because I'm going to have to drill holes to put, you know, all of the plumbing pieces through for the handles and for the actual faucet. So that part I don't like doing. Actually, I hate doing. Uh, I'm not good at measuring things. I always end up getting them a little off. And luckily with those types of things, that's why they put those big rings on. Uh, if you look at your shower, a lot of them will have a big round ring up it kind of screws into the surround you know it puts pressure against it and that's so you can screw that hole up and it be a little off and you can still cover it so that's the plan tomorrow Ugh. it's probably gonna be tomorrow and Sunday we'll probably get everything done uh, we gotta make sure they have tubs so we're gonna have to do that in the morning and go ahead and buy one and have them hold it for us until we can get it out. We'll probably go pick it up Sunday and install it. It's, it's, a, it's a nightmare come true for me. And if we had the money to go pay somebody just to do it, trust me, I would call somebody and be like, come do it. I'll pay you. Get the old one out, replace all that piping, put the new one in, and be done.
Sunday morning. Some tomorrow if there's a break, and then some Sunday morning, and try to get that channel back up and going at least post once a week to it. So everything kind of fell by the wayside with everything going on, and so I don't know. I, I it's one of those things where it weighs heavy on me that I have these channels and I'm not producing any content except for the, the daily vlog one and it kind of bothers me but I realize also that I've got a lot of other stuff going on and so something has to take a back seat and it's going to be you know the videos for right now but things will calm down here in the next week or so and uh, I'll start getting some gameplay out and get some stories out and then the other channel is just kind of random I do have some ideas for it too and I'll probably post something to it at least once a week but that one is kind of random it's just whatever I end up recording if it's something like crazy or whatever that's usually what I post out there so so that's all I got for today I'm starving and got low blood sugar so I gotta get home so I can shower and relax since I know tomorrow is going to be hell so wish me luck hopefully I, this all goes real smooth and you know I'm done in a couple of hours and I'm like yeah that was pretty easy um, and hopefully I'm not stupid enough to ever attempt it again so I hope everybody had a good Friday mine was everybody has a good weekend. I will have daily vlogs on Saturday and Sunday. So even if I have to film them while I'm cutting the tub in half, you'll have a daily vlog. I probably won't be filming cutting the tub in half because the bathroom's going to be trashed and I don't really have time or anywhere to put it. So anyway, that's it for today and I will see everyone tomorrow.